morning we have for you. What you can expect at the Imagination Station in the month of November. These guys are really busy this month. We have Dan Clements with us this morning. First off, thanks for coming in. You're welcome. Nice to have you. And this morning we are first off this half hour. We're talking about acid reflux chemistry. Yes, um, I brought a really cool kind of product that can get over the counter. It's called Gaviscon. We're familiar with, we are familiar with acid it. Acid reflux. Of course. And there's some pretty cool chemistry that's happening when we take this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I thought we'd check some of that out. Well, then what else do you have with us? This um, I've got all kinds of things. I've got some of the main ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, in this, I have some simulated stomach acid. And one of the ingredients inside of Gaviscon is <clears throat> sodium bicarbonate, mm -hmm. which is basically baking soda. Okay. So why don't you take this got it. and pour some of that into our acid and we'll see what happens. Just yep, just dump it in. Oh, look, oh, all oh, of it. Go ahead and pour it okay. all in there. There yeah. we go. Whoa. Okay, some pretty <laughs> cool chemistry. It's okay. All right. And that acid is mm -hmm. actually releasing carbon dioxide gas. Which is why it's bubbling up. Which is why it's bubbling up. It's kind of your classic chemistry experiment right. that you do. Now, here I have some calcium diluted in some water here. Mm -hmm. And I have some sodium alginate, which is, comes from seaweed extract, which is pretty cool. Now what would this do? Pour, oh. squirt, big, big squirt of that into our beaker there. How's that? Okay, good. Now, if I take this fork, we can see what happens when it mixes with the calcium. If you want to grab the fork and pull some of those things out. All right, it creates these like jelly worms, which is pretty cool. All right, it's kind of like stretchy and gross. Yeah, and, you can kind of oh, touch okay. it. All right, and that's what actually happens in your stomach when you take Gaviscon. It actually forms those jelly worms. It creates kind of like a polymer. Mm -hmm. All right, and it releases CO2 at the same time. Well, it's nice to see firsthand that what goes in on the inside. Okay, now we're gonna combine these. I've actually oh, no. got some Gaviscon, you can put that fork down. Okay. Some Gaviscon right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and have you pour it right down into the middle there. Yep, just dump it right in. Perfect. There we go. And you can see it's forming those little jelly worms right there. I do, okay. All right, and eventually we should start to see some bubbles, and that's carbon dioxide gas being released, okay? And what happens is that gas kind of lifts up mm -hmm. those jelly worms, and eventually they will go up to the top of your stomach and block your esophagus so that acid doesn't go up into your esophagus from your stomach. Um, and that's actually what happens inside. You can see the bubbles starting to form, and they're lifting and up right now. starting to lift up. There you go. You can see it now on your it screen. It kind of forms take a look. like a uh, bubble or a jelly worm raft that okay. goes up to your stomach and floats up to the top. And we can catch you guys doing this at Imagination Station right now. Yeah, we're doing all kinds of fun experiments like this. Um, we've got Mythbusters, the explosive exhibition coming mm -hmm. down. It's November, so we're gonna do tabletop science for Thanksgiving. This might be a good one for Thanksgiving if you do some overeating. <laughs> no I'm doubt, a, a lot of doctor, people have but... that on hand. <laughs> well, I also have to ask, you also have chemistry week coming up. What will that include? Um, we have all kinds of really interesting uh, chemistry things happening. Mm -hmm. um, if you want more information for that, you can go to our website, uh, imaginationstationtoledo.org, mm -hmm. and we'll have all kinds of cool information about chemistry week there. Well, you know where to check it out now. Head over to the Imagination Station. Now, coming up during our 6.30 half hour, we're actually going to be electrocuting a pickle. Absolutely. <laughs> interesting science with pickles and electricity. Looking forward to that. Well, you'll want to stick around here on NBC24 today. Coming up next, though, we have a look at your sports report this morning with Kirk Narotsky. The end.